Now, Austria has returned to a full national lockdown because of its rising number of coronavirus infections. Austrians have been told to work from home and non-essential shops have been closed. At the same time, protests against new restrictions have been growing in several European countries, especially in the Netherlands and in Belgium. Our Europe editor Katja Adler has the latest. Covid concerns are spreading across Europe. Spiralling case numbers are spooking some. Others, like this massive crowd in Vienna, object to Covid restrictions being reintroduced. I'm a free Austrian who wants to be free and live free in this country. Liberté! Today, Austria became the first EU country to reimpose a full, if brief, lockdown. Vaccinations will be compulsory here from February. In Berlin, Germany's health minister said his country faced a national emergency. His choice of words caused some controversy. Probably by the end of this winter, as it's sometimes cynically said, pretty much everyone in Germany will be vaccinated, cured or dead. That's how it is. So what's gone wrong? The EU's huge headache at the beginning of the year was securing enough vaccines. Now it worries too few people have used them. What we're seeing now, I think, is mostly driven by a lot of contacts between people coinciding with colder weather, a lot of indoor activities. The UK is following a different course. In the UK, you see that the numbers have been high for uh, several months now, but they seem to be relatively stable. Whereas in many other countries in Western Europe and Northern Europe, we've seen a steep increase in cases since October, uh, which uh, doesn't seem to happen in the UK. An average of 60% of Europe is now fully vaccinated. But each country is different. The rate in Eastern Europe, for example, is far lower. The EU is now considering vaccinations for children over the age of five. It approved jabs for the over 12s in May. The economic effects of COVID, those rising gas prices, people here in Europe say they're in need of some seasonal cheer. So no government wants to be seen to be cancelling Christmas. And that, they say, is why they're taking these COVID measures now. But what measures? Well, that varies from country to country and region to region. Bavaria has cancelled its Christmas market. Brussels is giving it a good go. The European Commission has nothing to say here because when it comes to health, each EU member state decides for themselves. This weekend, there were protests, some violent, against new Covid restrictions in Austria, Italy, the Netherlands, Croatia and Belgium. Pressure is mounting in Europe on the health services as well as the streets. The World Health Organization warns there could be half a million more deaths here by springtime unless effective action is taken. Katia Adler, BBC News, Brussels.